You want to know which memory card is the best one or best price performance card for your Canon EOS R, RP, 90D or M6 Mark II? Let's find out in today's video. Okay, I'm pretty sure some of you are just wondering why the results seems to apply to four different cameras and especially mixed APS-C full frame different resolutions. As, in as it turns out, yeah, obviously sensors are different, but the rest of the technology inside, so meaning the image processing and especially the memory card controller, seems to be identical between all those four cameras. So the final speed in terms of megabytes per second is identical. Obviously, due to different image resolutions, the speed in frames per second can differ a lot, but as I said, the megabytes per second are the same, plus minus 2%, so it's in the normal range of yeah, measurement uncertainty limits. For today's video, unfortunately, we have to deal with the Canon EOS RP, so only 5 FPS and let's say an average resolution, but I set up the camera for WAR plus JPEG, so the amount of data per second is still reasonably high, even with only five frames per second. So we maybe can compare to about eight to 10 FPS with some other cameras, yeah, faster cameras like the 90D or M6 Mark II. So let's begin with the fastest card we have tested so far with the camera series, and that's the Lexa 2000X in the new variant with a V90 speed, cl uh, speed class for video. So let's begin. And you can hear, now we're in the image buffer. The image buffer is quite a lot for the Canon EOS RP and especially for such a yeah, budget camera, but also for a lot of other cameras like the 90D M6 Mark II or Canon EOS R, especially compared to, let's say, the Sony Alpha 7 IV with a really, yeah, tiny image buffer. You can hear now we are limited by the memory card speed, so we have some minor interruptions in the continuous shooting mode, but it's still quite fast. And now if I stop shooting, you can see with the LED on the back, the camera is still saving and it's already finished. So a really fast memory card controller up to 170, 175 megabytes per second. It's pretty amazing for such a cheap camera. Is it the only recommendation? Of course not. Next to the 2000X, we have also tested the Sony TUF G series. Very fast, but very expensive. Or the Pro Grade, what, what is it? Uh, Titan? Titanium or Cobalt, Cobalt series, of course. And our all-star, the Kingston Canvas React Plus series. All of those cards are amazingly fast. Price differs a lot, usually around 70 to 200 bucks per 128 gigabyte. If you want to see all results, check out the link in the video description. We tested about 80 memory cards with the Canon EOS R, EOS RP 90D M6 Mark II. You find all results there with yeah, hourly updated price performance recommendations. But some cards are always a good fit in terms of yeah, performance per money. And those are the new Angel Bird Mark II V60 card, the Sony E series, also an UHS 2 card, not too high write speed, but read speed is great, and the brand new Lexa 1800X series. All of those are great price performance recommendations for all cameras mentioned. And finally, the real price performance killer that the Kingston Canvas Select Plus and UHS-1 card. So if you do a lot of continuous shooting, maybe it's not the best card to get for your Canon EOS R, RP, 90D whatsoever. So you can hear we are in the image buffer, so no limitations from the memory card 
but the buffer runs out much faster as you can hear compared to the UHS-2 memory cards and now the interruptions are much longer and we can only shoot a couple of images every second or two seconds and also the cleavage of the image buffer takes much much longer so my recommendation is for the Canon EOS R RP 90D M6 Mark II buy a fast or mid-range UHS-2 card instead of high-speed UHS-1 cards it's a huge improvement and especially UHS-2 cards the mid-range cards are not so expensive anymore so it's a great speed improvement but not in terms of price so that would my way to go again if you want to see all results check out the link in the video description thanks for watching if you liked this video leave a thumbs up and maybe considering a subscription for the channel it will help a lot and yeah see you next time